Hello and welcome to this week's tutorial. We paint the Reaper Miniatures Gnomish B Rider. So the model was given a primer coat of Citadel Chaos Black out of the rattle can. Some metal miniatures so you don't have to worry about it reacting with the plastic. And then the airbrush is loaded up with some Dawnstone Grey to do the pre-shade. See the airbrush is a bit blocked so I'm going to pump the trigger there. But this was adding a base for the contrast paint. And although it's black you want to add some light and dark for the contrast paint to work with. So you see the membranes of the wings are being given a coat of Dawnstone Grey. I then went back and gave him a coat of Deep Skin Flesh Grey right in the centre, just so it really gave the contrast paint something to work with. The body of the bee was also given a coat of Deep Skin Flesh Grey as well, just on the areas that would really catch the light, such as the top of the ad, and then the head and the legs and so forth. So the pre-shade done, as you can see here, the wings were given a coat of athematic blue contrast paint, which worked really nicely. I thought this might take a few coats, it might be quite a tricky process, but where the pre-shade worked its, its job really well, it didn't really need much work apart from just one coat of paint and a few highlights. The body of the bee was then given an overall coat of Black Templar contrast paint black, and again the pre-shade worked really well. I had to be careful because the metal chipped quite easily. Then once this was dry, I went back to the spray booth and added some stripes using flash kits yellow, holding the airbrush as close as I could to the model, being very careful to get the lines consistent. I returned to the bench, I highlighted the eye with grey. This is then given a red contrast paint coat. It was a real focal point, no pun intended, so it's worth getting this right. Some highlights were added to the legs of the bee using Dawnstone grey and deep skin flesh grey in successively lighter coats culminating with white right at the end just to add some reflections and again although black is just a base colour just give it a nice shiny kind of appearance to the legs and it added another area of interest also some grey was applied to the top of the abdomen where the light would really catch the fur of the bee And some of the yellow was blacked out on the legs. I thought it looked a little bit too much on the lower extremity of the legs. As I had the black paint to hand, I thought I'd add some um, shadows, basically, to the fur on the back of the bee. And then with some Dawnstone Grey, I had some highlights along the leading edge of the wing. Once again, I thought the wings were going to be really quite tricky. They proved to be relatively straightforward to paint and came out really well. I was really quite pleased with this aspect. So once everything had dried a little bit, I added some flash gits yellow to the, the top of the stripes on the bee, again, just to really accent where the light would fall. And again, even though it's the same color that was used when I airbrushed it, where it's applied with the brush, it's very concentrated, so it has a much brighter appearance, but that still blends in with the base coat of the stripes itself. Now I wasn't especially happy with the first flower I tried uh, sculpting and the green stuff I used was a little old so I thought I'd have another go. Um, again the first one looked really less like a flower, more like a triffid as you can see here and I thought it was a little bit big as well. So I went back and I was far happier with the second result. Now when it came to painting the figure I mixed up some of the Vallejo flesh tones, the brown sand, basic skin tone, the light flesh and the violet red. And this worked really nicely, it just meant I could work backwards and forwards with a bit of paint retarder, adding light and shade to the flesh tones. Now obviously it's a gnome, so it's going to have quite a light skin tone, and this meant you could just blend the colours together really easily, and just work backwards and forwards as you see fit. I always feel if you're applying this strictly in layers, it can look a little bit, um, little bit harsh, transitions from light to dark. So this system seems to work really well. And again, you can always come back because you've got the flesh tones mixed up in the wet palette at a later day. Now the other thing I use on a lot of my figures is the uh, Life Color Quick Flesh Shadowing Set. And this was used as well, just areas around the hair, I used the grey and so on and so forth. And the, 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 the light red just around the cheeks and what have you. And because it's so thin, just adds a really nice finishing touch to the flesh tones. Now I gave the hair a quick coat of yellow and then applied some orange contrast paint. Again, this is really quite eye-catching. And I thought if it was just yellow, it's going to clash with the bee. So I thought it'd be good to do something different. 
So the armour was simply painted with snake white leather contrast paint from Games Workshop and some highlights were added. The non-metallic metal painting I'm going to cover in another tutorial. So when the flower had been pre-shaded, again much the same as the bee had, I added some Magox Purple contrast paint from Games Workshop. This went on really nicely. I tried some diluted one, I just ended up using it out of the pot because it was a little too thin. And again, you can see the pre-shade really doing its work. I added a reasonably thick coat and just let it pool in areas to get a really nice, natural, organic looking appearance. The centre of the flower was then painted with yellow contrast paint. And with that, everything was pretty much done. So here you see the finished uh, figure. I'm really pleased with this one. It's quite a challenge. I mean, sculpting the flower was certainly taking me out of my comfort zone. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and I shall see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.